what is up you guys and of course always welcome back to another OU battle versus Caddy. Um, now Caddy is a good friend of mine, he's just recently started a Pokemon YouTube channel uh, on his own with Wi-Fi battles. I encourage you guys to check him out, I'm going to link that down below. And I promise him not to bring like the toughest team I got. So I figured I'll use some team I recently designed which is with um, um, Rigidrago and um, it has been do like I tested it twice and it's been kind of shaky like there are a lot of terrible things out there and uh, un unlike <laughs> Regieleki it doesn't outspeed everything naturally and that's an issue at times but once you hit off outrages it's actually doing a lot of damage but uh, I'm very worried I've no caddy for a long time as a very competent Wi-Fi battler and that's always a good thing but that also means I'm kind of in a spot look at this all right, this is this is probably not Trick Room. There's a lot of Trick Room-ish things about this. One positive trait is that my opponent have one or Caddy has only Weezing as his fairy type. The unfortunate part is that I have no way of breaking that fairy naturally. I mean, yeah. Wow, yeah. Whoop. There's a lot of whips from my side. I'm gonna actually lead off with Creever. It's not like super obvious. It is uh, Creever is my main way of attacking. Um, it does a lot of damage versus all of this, and it doesn't stumble versus anything of this. And or it could be sticky webs, and if so, it it's sticky web, right? It's sticky. It has he's it's sticky web. I just see that copy paste um, uh, Leba Pokemon or Beetle. <laughs> I just know it's Sticky Web. Old Amber. At least that's not Sticky Web. <coughs> so I think that could be a fake lead. Old Amber is probably... Yeah, it's the fossil name. I'm being dumb. I'm just gonna flip turn here. Taunt. So he's probably predicting Stealth Rocks, which I think is fair. But this is gonna stun me. This is gonna do a lot of damage. So if it's sashed, it doesn't gonna yeah. I was just about to say that it's not gonna matter if it's sashed. So the anti lead with stealth rocks, that's actually quite nice. Um, <coughs> now do I want to bait him for that? Because I, I figure he go for stealth rock on his own versus this. So. Tailwind, yeah, so we did the right play, which is nice. <laughs> Tailwind, huh? That's actually kind of cool. So Tailwind, Taunt, most likely Earthquake or Dual Wing Beats. So, if I were him, what would I have done here? Honestly, I'd probably Sack Play. So I'd probably Earthquake if I were him. Stealth Rocks, that's fair. I am not tremendously weak to Stealth Rocks, but at the same time, I do have a Focus Sash Pokemon in my repertoire, and that could be troublesome. So that means he only has one means of attacking, doesn't it? I could still sell out his turns. Ah, coward. Though Tailwind is probably out soon anyway. Let's see, how many turns of Tailwind does he have left? Rhyme on. Tailwind. Yeah, this is the last turn. So maybe it's just a good thing to attack him anyway. Dual Wing Beat. That's fair. Yeah, we'll do nothing. And... Um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Whack. Like, Weezing could carry Will-O-Wisp. Should be Levitating. I'm like really thinking what what would he do to try to defeat this set? It makes sense for Weezing to come in and try to burn me. I can always reset my stealth rocks. He's thinking about this though, so it's he kinda lost a like that anti-lead, probably one of the best anti-leads in generation four. Uh, with now new tools with dual wing beats. It was a really really good idea It just I was just how do you say it? I was 
too passive myself to do that right. So souls, please. That's actually quite unfortunate. Because this is a set I actually don't beat. Do I have anything that beats this naturally? Like, if it's the Calm Mind version, it doesn't matter. Ruby Conte coming in there and... Do I really want to risk taking all that damage? Or bring in Rolchom and Defog. So I basically negate both of our hard work. <laughs> Let's see, he could just Shadow Ball. Uh, more likely, I think he Will Wisp. Poultry Guys, oh yeah! Oh yeah, I learned that! I for forgot all about that. This could actually be, yeah, I was just about to say, this is gonna do a huge chunk of damage. And it's Leftover, so. Mmm. Do I really need. I don't. I'm gonna leave Storm here just to get as much damage in there as possible. If I were him, I'd probably be worried, but I'd probably also switch into my um, um, Weezing for this. Fourth of July. Yeah, this works too for him. <clears throat> what could this Pokemon do? Like I said, probably was predicting me to default, which I think is fair. So, Volt Switch here. U turns. That's. I was convinced I was gonna be faster than this. <laughs> Joke's on me. That did a lot, though. Is it physical, maybe? It had to be. It has to be choice banded. But it was heavy duty boots for sure. Let's see, here comes that guy. And we're not gonna do anything. It's gonna trace my levitate, which is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> so what do Porygons do without making me suffer? Like, yeah, this is a good switch in, but that's not gonna work. I'm not sending Creever, I'm actually going to go for Waterfall, just getting really, really high damage hits in there. Because usually you have... Think about this. Wolverine is like his only real switch in, which is a fat bastard. But he can always try to soak a hit and retaliate, he could carry a try attack. There's no way he has energy ball on this, and if he has, you know, more power to my opponent actually. Withdraws, so I figure Wolverine comes in. Souls, please, that's... I really hope I do good damage. Like, I need as much in here as possible to be able to really, really feel safe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this in the bag. He's absolutely range for getting KO'd at least. Like I said, it could be carry who bring in Wolverine just to really, really try to survive this. And I really need, I'll be honest, like the Pokemon I really need to defeat are... Um, I was gonna say Jujimbo because I call Weezing my, my own Weezing Jujimbo, but I really need to defeat that guy. I think if that Pokemon is gone, I think I am in a spot where I could try to get around it, but at the moment I'm not there. And. As long as that Pokemon is active, there is just no way I can beat it. Alright, so now we know his U-turn. Hmm. What would he do? If he U-turns again, it's a good neutral hit. Let's find out. <laughs> take a lot of damage here. Stick web, right? That's fair. Not what I wanted to see, but that's fair. 
Let's see, does it have anything that is faster? No. So we nasty plots here. I want to see if he U-turns in a fast for me. That he wasn't. So U-turns. Question is, is it Porygon that comes to this? That's the big question. I feel Porygon is to switch in, yeah. <laughs> Praise my Berserk, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, Fire Wrath, hope for a plinch. I don't know how much damage we could do. Yeah, I Vialize and all, we gotta kick his Berserk on. <laughs> oh yeah, Ice Beam. Yeah, that's a KO. What a what a nasty change. <laughs> Flinches would have been nice. Um, <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. So defog here. Um, Not the best scenario to be in, but at the same time, what the hell could have I done? Try attack, yeah, nothing to it. So try attack and ice beam. Hmm. It's not the end of the world though, but at the same time, it's it's not good. Because I know I just bait a Pokemon in every time I do this. I gotta go. I gotta go Swampert. So he's gonna sack his Porygon and he's most likely gonna try to reset his stick away versus me. Or he could just go for damage. Um, we saw U turn, we saw stick web. We know it's heavy duty boots. Most likely, he doesn't have any grass coverage. So he's just gonna reset the sticker web, which I think is fair. And I'm just gonna get as much damage in there as possible. And if it attacks me more power to my opponent, I really mean this caddy. If you do it, I mean, what else can I say, but bravo. No, oh, right, sack plane. Um. This also kind of means it's between, like, Fall of Rain is a threat and a half. So at this point, I think I s he's going to U-turn, right? He's not going to do a big boy play. He's going to U-turn and go into Wall of Rain, trying to stomach a hit. So I'll Stone Edge here. If he's Sack plays, I'll go to Psychic, which is actually going to probably kill me. No? No, 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 we're good. We're still in this. We can take the Stone Age too, so we have one more hit in us. And Caddy should be worried. Caddy should absolutely be worried. <laughs> because I think I would speed everything in his team. And he has been rather, rather worried about this Swampert, which is nice for me. But that's not the showcase I wanted. And I do recognize that, um, let's see, Sherio, that Weezing is my absolute no. It was Misty Surge all this time. It was Misty Surge. This man. No wonder it never came in. No wonder he never decided to bring this guy in. It all makes sense. For all the wrong reasons, it absolutely makes sense. I'm dying here. Now, the worst part is that... Um, oh, shit. Half the power as long as the Mr. Surge is active. Oh. This turned out to be way better than he even could have thought it would be. Now, I just got a body press. I have no water to play. Versus this wall ring, which is now 
actually faster than me and thanks to a possible seed which I kinda suspected was gonna be there um, special defense I got our defense I gotta bolt myself up he's so old shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit It got Soul Sense again. I knew it got Soul Stance. I knew it got it. Alright, let's see. Liquidation, Waterfall. Liquidation. Do we stomach this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. This Body Press will. And I. <laughs> That's a win! Oh, and I was so worried. I was so worried about that god damn god and wheezing. And he was never levitating. Oh, that was a cool game though. Caddy, caddy. GG man, I really mean that. Fuck, that was a cool team. And I had my idea of getting my Reggie Drago to kind of get in there, but there were so many things in the way and the damage output of everything just makes sense and that or beetle was way more friendly than was supposed to do. I'm really glad Swampert kind of came through here, but it was definitely an exchange of just me getting nervous over the wrong Pokemon. And Walrein, of course, didn't break through, but I saw what you were doing. And had not Radio Rock been active with a Misty Search, I probably could not have de been defeating it. If that had Ice Cold Spear, my Focus Sash on uh, my. What do you call it? Um, my Focus Sash on. Um, on Whimsicott would not matter because it would, would easily to kill that Pokemon. Anyway, fantastic game. Really, really had fun here. Um, for everybody who's been watching, hope you enjoyed this game too. And make sure to check out Caddy, which of course will most likely upload this battle. And, um, you know, subscribe to him. He's awesome. Really enjoy his content because he's so unique um, and creative. And that's the source of being, a, for me, a great pocket tuber. Not be elitist, just be creative. And you get a lot of different ideas from watching people like him. So that's it guys, as always, we look forward to watching, and you know, as always, have a great day everyone, take care.